I'm always cosplaying. I'm in permanent cosplay. <laughs> First, I find an avatar that looks a lot like me. Then I put him in costumes. <laughs> So I guess I'll kick things off here today. I know that um, uh, we did uh, talk about it already a little bit, but um, SL20B, of course, has uh, concluded. Uh, we certainly thank everyone for for participating. It was our, our biggest birthday event yet. Um, aside from the dozens of regions uh, for both the community celebration and the shop and hop, um, we did release and announce several new things. Um, we released the 2048 Ranch Style Limited and Homes, uh, our new project with Motown, as well as the new Welcome Hub. Uh, we also launched the Second Lifetime Accounts, which I believe, uh, Vix, you might know more on this. I believe that all of the Premium Plus sold out, and we still have a couple of the regular Premium. I'm not sure on that. That's right. We have, I believe, yeah. I haven't checked in a few days, but we had a few slots remaining. During this meet, I'll actually confirm. Great. Um, we also uh, announced the thumbnail and single folder view changes that are coming to the inventory. Uh, those are still in process, but uh, there is a beta viewer for that. Um, also, um, the mobile viewer project. Um, uh, we got another preview of that. And also the new Simra avatar was previewed. And, uh, oh, if you missed the viewer, the mobile viewer update, um, I did want to make sure you got a chance to see that, um, just in case. That's at, grab that slurl, or curl. Um, as mentioned in the video, the alpha should be available showing up later this year with, uh, beta early next year um, on that. Pretty excited about it. I think it looks pretty good. Did uh, everyone uh, get a chance to get to um, SL20B and take a look around? Um, what were your thoughts, feelings? Feel free to let us know. Hey, Adam, uh, we can probably take that off the table. If you want to just DM me uh, what happened, I can probably hopefully give you the right path to uh, send a formal complaint. Uh, Gorgeous Plus is out. It was gone <laughs> very fast. So, yeah. If you didn't, if you weren't one of the very few to uh, instantly uh, submit your information to get the premium plus and then confirm that you read to the feed and everything checked out, then um, yeah, it, that that got locked up pretty fast. No, that that would entail becoming another um, slot in the premium plus and. Um, uh, it is uh, locked in with how many uh, they originally allotted. So, um, yeah, there's, there's no way to kind of ease into it unless they uh, go back and reconsider the number of uh, Second Lifetime uh, Plus resins. Yeah, more of a decision than I'm thinking uh, like code to allow it. Well, that would be a feature request. I was if just going to say the same. Uh, definitely send one in. And the uh, review team would uh, take a look. 
and send it to the appropriate team if needed. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you gotta read the small print. <laughs> Meteor hits, we're not liable. <laughs> Yeah, Dark Over, I know a lot of people, um, including a couple here who've uh, spoken about it many times, uh, really looking forward to the mobile viewer. So I wanted to make sure that people did see the progress that is going on in that um, and what it's looking like, because I'm pretty excited about it myself. I do too. I think it's going to be really nice to be able to uh, just log in on your phone wherever you are, um, those that have offices in really hot climates, a.k.a. my office, <laughs> uh, to be able to just log into Second Life from somewhere, maybe air-conditioned, if you don't have a laptop or, or another means to log in, or maybe you're out and about, right? Maybe you're at the mall and you can just check in. I mean, it's the convenience is going to be through the roof. Yeah, I know that I was recently on the road and would have loved to have been able to check in while I was out, so... That'll come very much in handy. Yeah, don't second life and drive. <laughs> well, we can move on to the next topic here uh, regarding the PBR sandboxes. That is the physically based rendering uh, for those who are not familiar with it. I uh, know a lot of people have been looking forward to playing with the physically best excuse me, physically based rendering system uh, that is coming to the grid. Thankfully, we now have some support for it here on the main grid with a number of special sandboxes uh, right for experimenting. Uh, you can try it out on the following regions. I'll go ahead and uh, put them right here in the chat. These regions are available right now. Now, as you're testing it out, if you take content that you made um, on these regions and you try to place it on a region that does not support uh, PBR yet, it will not work as uh, intended. So uh, all PBR testing should probably, for the time being, happen on those regions. And here's the viewer that you're going to use to do the testing. And also, for those who are not familiar with uh, what PBR is going to bring, uh, we have a very good write-up uh, about the PBR and the materials right here. And I can tell you the iterations are just looking more and more cleaner. Uh, it's really uh, turning out to be something. Uh, I, I can't wait for it to be completely uh, released. It's really going to be uh, something I think that I don't like saying the word game changer, but uh, whatever the equivalent of that term is. <laughs> yeah, I know I mentioned it before, uh, Sassy. The minute you see your reflection uh, come off something metallic, it's just like, whoa. That, that, that added depth alone is, is something incredible.
We are Holoc Cluck. Um, if you notice, the latest release page uh, does not have the 32-bit um, option. However, we're keeping a, uh, a stable viewer around um, for those who are still on that. So while it's probably no longer going to be officially supported, uh, as Wendy mentioned, um, there's going to be a viewer that's available. <laughs> so residents won't be completely left out. However, it is highly recommended um, that you switch to a 64-bit because the memory capacity and the performance overall is uh, what's driving uh, new content. You're just not going to be able to experience uh, everything that you could on 32-bit. Uh, publicly, I'm not sure. Hey, Christaki, welcome. I actually really like that idea, Christaki. Um, I mentioned it previous, but um, that would be an excellent feature request um, that I would actually uh, just mention that Christaki brought up some more organizational tools, especially for uh, larger landowners, uh, would be beneficial. Yeah, I can see the practical uh, benefits for that. Yes, sir. Yeah, if you haven't yet, Christaki, uh, filled out a feature request, um, I, I recommend doing so because um, that is a, uh, it's an easily uh, recognizable uh, tool that could be of, uh, of uh, much use. If it can be implemented, that wouldn't be up to me here, <laughs> but uh, I, I do like that idea. Excellent. That's good, Bunny. I mean, we don't, we certainly don't require anyone to have to talk on voice. I know a lot of people aren't necessarily happy with that, so we try to provide the option. Unfortunately, Sassy, no, we, um, uh, the way the London homes are structured, they can't be sold. Um, so that would not be able to work. Uh, 
Now, if, if the concern is um, while you're looking at another Linden home and see your premium plus, um, what I recommend uh, for those is do not immediately abandon your current home while you're kind of uh, waiting for a reply uh, to the other one. You can sit on it, and Wendy can correct me here uh, if there's a different change. You can keep your current home, submit the ticket that you're interested in another one with the floral so uh, the man named team can go out and take a look and make sure it's eligible for transfer. That way you're not kind of, uh, you know, jumping off a cliff and um, you know, the other side is, is not available yet. Um, that's fine, right, Wendy? They can go ahead and just hold on to their home, submitting a ticket for another one, and you guys would yeah, uh, they take could. care. Yeah. It will, uh, it will cause some like problems that. with that. It will, it will delay things a little bit. Uh, so if you've got the time, that's certainly a way to go. Yeah, I'm guessing it'd probably be a little bit more back and forth while you wait for residents to abandon their current one, and then you can arrange a new one. Uh that was uh, gorgeous. It was referring to um, if you have a home and you want to switch to another available home, not transfers between residents. Mm -hmm. uh, well, gorgeous private regions is still a thing. I was thinking Linden Homes. Was that off? Doesn't hurt to ask, Holoclick. I'd be interested. Might have an answer, hopefully. Yeah, Darko, that's actually what I was talking about. Darko, we're keeping in the vein of a private region. Uh, yes, alt to alt transfers are still things. Wait, I'm sorry. I'm confused. Did you just say that if my alt lands a house and I want to transfer my main to it, I can still put in a ticket to do that? I just need to put in the ticket that, that I own both avatars? Is that what you uh, just yeah. said? There was that yeah. That no, I'll answer that. Yeah. Um, okay. Unfortunately, we did uh, recently have to uh, put a small halt on that. We're doing a little bit of a review on it. Um because there were some issues with transferring Linden homes in that fashion. So at current, no, unfortunately, that's not a possibility. Um, it might change in the near future. We'll see. Okay. So it's there's a difference between transferring it between your alt and yourself and transferring it between a friend and yourself. I, I think that's what you just uh, said, right? Yeah, transferring in any way at this point. Oh, transferring in any way. Right. Okay. Well, for me, I've got my spots. I'm not moving, but I have a friend who's pretty upset right now. So I understand. She, she her alt landed a spot that's a clone of the one I have, and she put in a ticket, was told no, so she was real upset. Yeah, I know, and uh, I'm very sorry about it because we were doing those uh, for a period of time, but. If some things happen and we had to put a halt to that at this point. Um, again, it might change in the future. All right. Thank you. Sorry. All right, moving right along, I'm sure some of you will be happy to know that uh, we just released a fix for the long-standing uh, in-world friends display issue. <laughs> yeah. Uh, starting this morning, 
there is a fix that is out there in the testing field on all of the release candidate uh, regions. Basically, any RC region that you log into um, will have this fix in place. Uh, so we are eager to hear feedback, but this is uh, excellent news. Um, just uh, earlier today, I updated the blog uh, to reflect the, uh, the good news. So um, go ahead and log in. If you need to know a, a good region to uh, log into an RC when you don't have any on hand, just uh, reach out to support, and uh, we'll find some that don't have a lot of high traffic. And uh, you can log in there in uh, yeah, a public face of one, so you're not logging in someone's backyard. <laughs> um, but, yeah, reach out to us. And uh, we can let you know a uh, good spot to land in so you can see how the friends list is looking. As well as uh, this was a dual fix, uh, as we understand, because residents uh, will now be able to uh, be notified of when other friends are logging in. That was a reoccurring issue as well. So it'll be great to see this one come off the board. I have a question on that. How long will it take uh, before it moves from RC to everybody? Uh, I guess it depends on um, um, any feedback that we send the development team, any kind of uh, uh, snags along the way. Um, I'm not sure there's an ETA for when it's coming out on the, uh, the stable channel or the main channel. Um, like just this morning, it was released to the uh, release candidates. So uh, that, that usually means there's a high confidence that um, this is a solid fix, but um, because it's on testing, um, we keep it there. We let it cook for a little bit. Um, so I don't think there's an immediate ETA for when it comes out. And if they have one, um, then we'll let you guys know when it hits the main channel. Okay, great. And then also, this this is a purely server side fix and doesn't require any viewer changes. Is that correct? Correct. Yeah, this is definitely server yeah. side. Uh, it was included in um, the restarts from this morning. So, yeah, there's nothing else you have to do other than to log into a or visit a region that is on one of the uh, release candidate channels. Do you, can you log in somewhere else, visit it, and it'll fix it, or do you need to log in at that res at that region? Yeah, you're going to want to visit me. Yeah, okay. you want to log in at. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That's the best way. I want to bounce into another quick uh, update that we have uh, that's in the pipeline. It's currently uh, coming soon, uh, which is a couple of changes to estates uh, that were asked for. Um, for one, um, we're seeing an update on the number of estate managers that you can have for a region. Uh, at current, it's 15. Uh, we're going to be taking that up to 20. So we'll be able to have up to 20 estate managers on a region. And likewise, the estate block list will also be increasing from its current 500 all the way up to 750. Um, that's actually uh, on the release candidate servers as of today. And barring any complications, we'll go to the whole grid very soon. Um, and to play with that, this will require a, uh, a new uh, client um, that's uh, currently in the maintenance U project viewer. Um, which is at lateral. Um, but I imagine that once you know, once it gets out and gets working, it'll go both into the main and also into uh, the third party viewers pretty quickly. So I'll give you a little bit more flexibility on estates.
I don't believe it does, Sassy, but um, I tend to find as a, a an easy rule of thumb is uh, watch for uh, any that don't have uh, profile photos because they may have deactivated their accounts. And those are probably ones that you can remove. Some might say that every year is a beer year. Any other questions or uh, comments that uh, y'all might have? Feel free to jump on in. The floor is open. At least it's not lava. <laughs> no promises. <laughs> Yeah, this can be arranged. I don't believe that there are any plans on that, Sassy, but um, if there's an interest, um, you know, I would feature request it, um, you know, but I don't know if there's any any plans on that right now. I know there's a lot of areas that we'd like to uh, to look at for that as well. So who knows? Really couldn't speak to that, Christaki. Unfortunately, that's not anything I know. Um, never say never, um, but don't have any information on that right now. What do you mean by that, Vix? This is Emmy. Um, I mean, do you, when you uh, ban a specific bot, for example, are you seeing that same name return, basically circumventing, or is it you just see different names returning, no matter how many you... You, uh, you ban. Well, we're not banning them because they're supposed to be system banned. The bots are supposed to be registering, and if they're a bot, they're not supposed to come on the, the land. Um, but not everyone is registering. So, uh, but I do, you know, I get a list every day of all the visitors to the land, and you know, obviously, when I look at those names, I can see that they are definitely bots. So these folks are not yeah. registering their their avatars as bots, but they're using them as bots. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Is, uh, just replied. Yeah. Uh, well, I was going to say, uh, I would go ahead and file an abuse report and uh, just relay what's happening so they can look into it. Okay. Great. Thank you. You're welcome.
And that is correct, Holoclock. Um, the Horizons area to the north of Zendra, uh, kind of a proto with uh, the way the homes work on uh, on the Belisaria regions. I was wondering, um, is there any plans to kind of complete the coastline at all along the um, the new ranch regions? I don't know. Maybe. Um, it's getting awfully close to uh, the mainland there, so something could happen. But I don't have any specific information that I can offer. Are, are there plans to release more regions? Is, it seems like these things are selling out amazingly fast. They, they keep releasing 120 homes in less than a week, and they're gone already. Um, yeah, we, you know, we regularly are releasing regions of all sorts, so and, and additional homes in additional styles. So there's a good chance of that. Um, I don't have any like specifics. They're going to be over here, or there, or when they're going to come in. But yes, most likely there will be more ranches, and I believe there's still other themes being discussed. So there's certainly going to be things down the line. I hate the fact that I can't give that many details, though. Uh, did you happen to see my question about VLC? I don't recall seeing it. No, sorry. Yeah, I really, unfortunately, I don't have an answer on that, Send. Um, however, I would recommend the um, one of the other user groups that's more uh, inclined on that. Uh, let me get you the, the, uh, the list of that, because that'll get you better information on that than we have. And in that case, I would definitely recommend the one over in Denby, um, the server sim scripting one. Um, they will probably have the the closest hand on that issue for you. Sixty thousand prims. I have trouble putting ten thousand prims down. <laughs> Over. Do you mean the uh, the second life page for user groups? You know, we released emojis. Eventually, we'll see memes. I know it. Just a matter of time. No doubt, Fix. No doubt.
Yeah, it could be interesting, Sassy. Keep that upstairs. See what happens. Well, Mark, I just checked, and it uh, looks like we just um, put an update uh, July uh, 12th. So all that information is still relevant, actually. Um, looking at the, the groups and the times... Yeah, those are all still good. So that, that page is up to date, the uh, user group listing. But if, if there's anything that you, you click on that it maybe takes you to a page where the um, link isn't working, um, you know, reach out to us so we can get it updated. Oh, meeting notes, I see. It sounds like I have to take the dust buster over to those. They just haven't been used when you drill down into the specific user groups. I would say a lot of those, um, they may have a few topics like we do, but it's also an open forum discussion. So it's basically just like a, a time that we, we sit down and we kind of open everything up for anyone who has questions related to, you know, for example, this one landing user group. Something that we look at dark over, um, maybe creating uh, a link with the um, topics that would be discussed. Oh, I have a governess type of question. Um, if you see something that's like a severe violation, like uh, I ran across somebody near my Linden home who was using all 700 prims for breedables um, and AR'd it, and like, you know, several days later it hadn't been addressed, how long should I reasonably expect to um, before I submit a second AR? A week or what? Um, well, they review the reports as they receive them, uh, so we can't say if you haven't received a reply or something hasn't changed since then. But if you are still seeing the issue happening after your initial report, you've given us some time, uh, you are welcome to submit a, another report, and that one will be reviewed. Because it's, it's possible that governance removed them and the people put them back out, and I yeah, just have no way of yeah. knowing. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. I love giving answer and governance right there. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, if it's an ongoing issue, don't don't hesitate to, to file it, especially if something um, that wasn't included in the first report uh, comes up. Although we are not a governance user group here, I just want to pass this information along uh, because it is helpful. Uh, if anything new or uh, has happened, uh, or change since it's happened. Yeah, definitely file a new report. Okay, I didn't want to like overdo it on one report. That's why I was asking. But oh no, it's, okay. Thank, thank you for asking you. that. Mm -hmm. I'm sure Tommy did not say that. <laughs> Are you fibbing, Adam?
I uh, reply to your Linden concern. Do we have any other uh, questions or uh, uh, things you want to bring up today? Uh, we've still got a few minutes. Yeah, governance does bring up a good point. Thank you for your information uh, today, also governance. Much appreciated. Swiftly, it's possible. Um, we typically don't do a lot of terraforming. Um, however, that's not a 100% never do. So please uh, file a ticket under the land, other land category. Um, and we can certainly review it and see what we can do to try to open up that access.
let us know. File tickets, um, screenshots would also be really super helpful. Um, so we can take a peek at it. Oh, and also, this is this is somewhat unrelated, but I figured I'd share this just um, for those of you that do send in land tickets um, for mainland issues, um, for gaining linden homes or abandoned parcels and so forth. Um, when you do bring those in, please provide a slurl for those. Um, we do occasionally get requests without slurls. Um, that does make it a little bit harder. It does delay things because then I have to, you know, any of us have to then contact you and ask for a location. Um, also, I know that some of the third party viewers um, are very good at showing you the parcel ID. Um, believe it or not, those aren't as useful as you might hope. So please do uh, provide a score rather than a parcel ID. Uh, it just makes it quicker for all of us and we can get it to you quicker that way. Just wanted to bring that up. In case you don't know what we're referring to when we say slow, it is the Second Life uh, address, the address bar in the viewer. If you just uh, put your mouse right under the uh, top nav where you see the location where you are, you can just hit Control and then the letter C on that, and then Control and the letter V anywhere, and then that will copy the, the floral slur. You can just drop that in the ticket.
We have about five minutes left today, so if there's any other questions or comments, go ahead and bring them on to us. Mark over. Um, probably the first quarter of 2024, um, depending on how all the work going up to that point goes. Um, but that's certainly around the target. Gorgeous. Doesn't look like uh, this got directly answered yet. Um, you want to start with uh, submitting a support ticket um, and then just uh, try to share as much information you have regarding the uh, account going update, and uh, that'll be a good starting point from there. Sassy, Sorry. Sassy, I don't know, but um, soon, trademark. Um, probably fairly soon, in fact, because um, I know that's getting really close on our end. And I don't want to give any dates or anything because I don't have them. Yeah, I heard about that. I know the team's been working very hard on the similar avatars and doing some pretty good work. Um, so I know that they also can't wait to get it out. So it should be real soon, I imagine. Sorry, I couldn't resist. Yeah, that deserved that room shot. Thank you. I'll be here all night. No, actually, I won't be. It's uh, just about the end of the meeting, so. When do we be here for the sure. two minutes? <laughs> yeah, be sure to tip your weight staff. There's some exciting news that came out of uh, San Diego Comic-Con, Bunny, I'm sure you're aware of it. Marvel's uh, just released their new uh, 
major crossover event. I think it was called, what, Gang Wars? That sounds pretty good. I didn't catch it either. Well, that is our time, everyone. Thank you for stopping by. We will see you the fourth Wednesday of August, which looks to be August 23rd. If I can count one to four. Thanks for all your questions, and uh, have a great day. Yes, thanks, everyone, for coming. Always appreciate it. Always a great discussion. Y'all take care.